following program is being funded by the Harmony Hill Performing Arts Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, welcome to the Overall View, the program that lets you see from God's perspective the entire world and how God sees it all. Your hostess for this travel adventure is Josephine Russo, presenting for you the big picture. Because once you see the larger picture, everything else will seem smaller by comparison. May your troubles be few and your vision be large. And now, here's Josephine Russo. Welcome, June Blair from SPIN, right? Yes, serving people well, in need. Serving people in need. Yes. Welcome to an overall view. Thank you. Thank you for being my special guest. And where are we going to begin with SPIN? What is SPIN all about, June? Well, SPIN is called Serving People in Need, and it had primarily been a, a homeless agency for about 22 years. And a couple of years ago, uh, we formed a collaboration with the United Way of Mass Bay in Merrimack Valley to open the Financial Stability Center, which is formerly called the United Way Financial Stability Center, powered by SPIN on Union Street in Lynn. Mm. It's where the Eastern Bank used to be. Used to be, to be yes. Yep. Right across from Soulsby. Uh, right on Hawaii. the corner of Soulsby and, and Union Street. Yes. Across from yes. Uh, Lynn Community Health Center. And what exactly do you do for people? Well, the goal of the Financial Stability Center is to help people move towards economic empowerment. We want to help people increase their income, increase their savings, and build assets. Mm. And how do you do that? We provide financial education classes. Um, there are the Money Smart classes, which the curriculum was developed by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. We also have a budget coaching program, which is um, a budget coach, a trained budget coach, will work one-on-one -on -one individually with families to help them uh, develop a budget, um, identify savings goals, and help them work towards paying off debt, repairing credit, establishing credit, and then being able to save some money. Yeah. Right now, we're also in the middle of the VITA program, which is the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance where we have volunteers who have been trained and certified by the IRS to perform free tax preparation for low to middle income families. We put a great emphasis on the earned income credit. There are many families that are eligible for that credit that are not aware of it. And in some yes. cases, it can increase the family's income by up to 25%. That's wonderful. In these hot economic times, what is the criteria to benefit from your program? Is there an age criteria? No, no. We, we will serve anyone. That's the beauty of having the, the funding through the United Way. There are no restrictions on who we can serve. So it's been really rewarding for us to be able to just be able to serve anybody. Mm, because uh, I myself, I'm involved uh, and work for the Senior Network. Yes. And uh, I never thought in my life, um, <laughs> I won't tell you my age. I'll just tell you uh, that I graduated in the 60s mm -hmm. from St. Clair's, entered the convent uh, a year later, and worked all my life. Mm -hmm. uh, went to BC at night, and in my whole life, uh, I never remember ever having a problem getting a job. Right. Nowadays, you need to know the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of red tape. Yeah. We're working on actually a, a workforce development program where we will provide job training and then help um, either help people find a job or to create the job. So we're also looking at job creation and development. Now, what about the computer? We have computers. We don't actually have a computer training course yet, but that's 
something that we're, we're not going to be able to avoid. People need to be trained on using it, the computer. It, if you don't know the computer... It's very difficult uh, to do anything. Even applying for a job today, it's all done every, on the computer. Every place. Yeah. Years ago, you walked into a place, you filled out an application, right. and when can you stop? Yeah. It's not like that today. No, there's Corey checks, background checks. Well, that doesn't bother me so much. What does bother me is the fact of the computer. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, I'll give you an example. I applied for a job at PriceRight. Someone had to help me with a computer, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they didn't tell me the password. So I asked a friend of mine that's computer literate, "Go back. will you come with me and help me apply for this job? Do you know I couldn't get into the computer because I didn't know the password? That's right. <laughs> and it's... Very uh, frustrating that uh, I guess people like me have to make up their minds that they're in the 21st century. Right. Uh, we're not living in the 60s anymore, <laughs> and uh, things have changed. Very, very that, much so. uh, You have to be up to date with emails and this and that. Mm -hmm. Do you have an email? Right. Yep. Um, and so, Spin, have you noticed uh, the need is greater than ever? Absolutely, it? yeah. We're seeing people um, that have never been involved in the social service system before, more like the middle income families yes. who have lost jobs and things that prices are so ridiculously high on everything that they come in and they really don't even know where to turn. And that's, it's really difficult for those people. Yes, it is. I see it all the time yep. in uh, senior network, brilliant people, yep. very intelligent people, hi highly skilled yep. people, uh, working for $8 an hour. We actually and, have two of them at the center. Right. And um, these are well-educated, absolutely uh, talented, highly intelligent. Mm -hmm. And I'm blessed, I'm not complaining at all, because $8 an hour is still $8 an, an hour, hour right. and it's getting uh, me out of the house. Yep. And also, uh, I'd like to say that it's training me mm -hmm. uh, exactly. on the computer. Mm -hmm. We have meetings, we have free computer classes, and that's a blessing yep. for a low-income person mm -hmm. uh, to benefit from because even at the senior center they do have computer classes but they cost money right so uh and we're living in a time like you said i uh have volunteered at sacred heart mm -hmm. food pantry and now i'm working at saint joseph's harvest of hope as a receptionist and uh and in salem and you see people that have never ever right. uh, been in the position mm -hmm. of going to a food pantry. People that used to donate right. to food pantries, mm -hmm. uh, people that had their own homes, yeah. and uh, with the economy the way it is and the troubled times that we're living in, uh, the need is great. The, yes. Uh, for Christmas, they serve like uh, 860 families for mm. Christmas presents yep. at St. Joseph's yep. Harvest of Hope. And I, I I guess you deal with that on an everyday basis. Right, absolutely. We have, um, it, as far as the, the senior network, I think one of the things that I like about that is that we do have two women who volunteer in our in our place for um, they get paid by the senior network but yes. I think what's really good for them as well is that they're learning new skills yes so that they're becoming more employable so I think that's a benefit as well so I I like that we're involved with our program and yes. helping to put some people to work yes so but um, yes every day there's the the stories that we hear it's heartbreaking and you really want to be able to just fix everything for everybody but you can't do that. And the only thing that we can do is help them find their own way and provide the resources for them and the skills so that 
if and when they run into this kind of trouble again, they'll have some experience on how to deal with coping with all of this. Mm. And uh, you mentioned um, homelessness. Yeah. And how do you deal with that? Well, at SPIN, we have um, two, two different programs, actually. Well, probably more. Um, we have what we call the Scattered Sites Program. We have 77 units across the city of Lynn where we house homeless families. We have relationships with different landlords in Lynn, and SPIN pays the rent. We also have two teen living programs, and these are shelter programs for homeless teenage moms and their kids. Wow. Um, and that's just not even enough to be able no. to serve all the people who are homeless. They're putting people in motels now. It's just, it's, it's frightening how rampant this, this problem has become. And is there a light at the end of the tunnel? I have to believe that there is. It's the only way you get through every day. Are you connected uh, at all? Do you work hand in hand with uh, any other organizations in Lynn? Yes, we have. Um, part of this collaboration with the United Way was also to bring in other partners. Um, on site, we have the College Application Education Project, which is a program that helps junior and senior high school students locate colleges, locate financial aid, fill out FAFSA forms. They do some tutoring. Um, they also do some SAT preps with those kids. We also have the Lynn Public Schools, runs a tutoring program in the evening in our space for elementary school kids. And we have a play space in our facility so that while parents are taking classes, if they have toddler kids, they can go into the play space. The elementary school kids can go to the tutoring and the middle and high school kids can go to the college application project. We also have a relationship with Catholic Charities in Lynn. Oh, um, wonderful. Oh yes, they provide, they've provided some GED classes for us. We provide space for them. They actually have a training over there um, on Monday that they're using our space for. So we have a really good relationship with them. A lot of the um, other organizations in Lynn are on our advisory committee, Community Credit Union, Metro Credit Union, uh, the Career Center, North Shore Career Center. Yes. Um, the, I love uh, that place. Yeah, the Multicultural Center. Um, Representative Steve Walsh is also on our advisory committee. So we're really trying to involve as much of the community and the community leaders as possible to help us do the kind of work we want to do. I think that's so wonderful. I happen to uh, go to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in 74 South Common Street. Uh -huh. And the reason I'm mentioning St. Stephen's is we have a wonderful uh, youth uh, minister, Jason Cruz, who's involved with raw arts. Yes. And uh, I think that that's so vital yeah. with our youth. Mm -hmm. And um, they also have their own filming. Um, I haven't uh, really had the time to investigate it, but the teenagers at St. Stephen's put on a little film oh, for that's us. great. And do you find that... Uh, all these different avenues are helping to prevent gang violence. I think so. I think keeping um, young minds active and busy and feeling productive, I think, makes a big difference. If they're not feeling lost and alone, they know that there are people there who care about them, places they can go. I think that makes a big difference. And things to do. Yes. Yep. Positive a, things to do. On a, even a, a fun Yes. Kind of thing. Absolutely. Uh, productive, uh, you know, get rid of your anger. Uh, uh -huh. One of my guests was Antonio Guterres, uh -huh. who is the street outreach worker in Lynn to prevent gang violence. Yep. And Antonio deals with it on a daily basis. Yes. So, uh, you know, the, the goings on today uh, with all the different uh, schools that, and even, uh, I happen to uh, listen to uh, Stacy 
uh, at the senior center. Mm -hmm. And there is a problem with anger. Oh, yeah. Not only among our youth, mm -hmm. but even with the elderly. Yeah. And bullying, can you imagine? <laughs> Goes yeah. on. Yeah. And what makes a bully? Insecurity and, and, and anger. And, and anger yeah. and frustration. Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of that today. And uh, it's really not a laughing matter. Not at all. Um, because um, suicides yep. among our youth. Mm -hmm. And uh, have you noticed uh, addiction uh, with... Uh, people that you would not expect. Oh, yeah. Um, and there's a lot of mental health issues, even with young, young children. That's really very concerning. Yes. Yeah. And the cutbacks that we're going to experience on helping them. Not at all. But uh, the solution, what is the solution um, where we're so much in debt? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I don't think that the poor and the middle class can afford to be cut. No, they can't. Because... Um, Unless we get our, on our feet and back to work and functioning normal, in a normal everyday basis, where people have their basic needs met, right? Uh, we'll see more and more robberies. Right. Everyone will suffer. Everyone, Everyone will suffer. Will. Yep. So, anyway. Um, these are very challenging times, yes. wouldn't you say? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and are you connected at all with my friends at my brother's table? They've been my guests, too. Mm -hmm. I know that we would certainly send people there. I, we don't have a, a real collaboration with them yet, but those are always developing. We, we just opened the center. Um, it'll be two years in September. So we're still working on collaborating with, with all of the other agencies and nonprofits and for-profits in Lynn to, to join together and, and help fix. Let's do our, all do our part in trying mm. to make things better. And it's easier if you do it all together, I think, instead yes. of everybody in a silo effect, trying to doing different things. If, you, if people can walk into one place, I think one of the things that the United Way likes to say is that there's no wrong door. So when they walk into the Financial Stability Center, no matter what they need, they're in the right place. And mm. that's through collaborations with, with all of the people who are providing these kinds of services in Lynn. Well, that's true. Because people in need, need you know, I, I like Joe Kennedy. Uh -huh. And I like his approach that uh, kindness, because, uh, when you're dealing with the public, sometimes, <laughs> you know, it's easy to get frustrated. Mm -hmm. But people do. I remember uh, a priest, I think it was Father McDonough, uh, that said, forget the theology mm -hmm. and our differences. People need kindness and love. Right. Uh, because we're all hurting. That's right. When one of us hurts, we all yeah. hurt. Mm -hmm. And in a world that uh, every time you turn the news on, and that, June, is the purpose of my show. Um, I wanted a show to show people like you and myself and Alfred Nesser and Lynn Cam and PBD Access that there are wonderful people in our communities, they certainly are. ordinary people, mm -hmm. that every day do extraordinary things, right. volunteers, mm -hmm. staff, helping uh, the broken, 
helping each other. Right. Um, because we're all in this together. Right. You could be on top of the world and have a very prestigious position. Today. Today. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow you might make a mistake, a tragic mistake, mm -hmm. and end up losing your job, end up behind bars. And I really feel my heart goes out to these people. Right. Uh, I'm not going to name names that have a uh, struggle with addiction yeah. and uh, just maybe through no fault of their own, mm -hmm. just fall off the wagon right. and my heart goes out to them. I happen to be a born again Christian and I'm the lady that wrote the letter about the state trooper. And, uh, he had a marvelous singing voice. He was a Christian, but he made a poor choice, bad right. decision mm -hmm. uh, that affected his whole life. Right. And it doesn't matter if you're president of the United States, <laughs> or you're a lonely senator, or you're a congressman, or you're in some political position. It doesn't matter who That's you right. are. Uh, any one of us uh, can uh, can fall. I mean, we're all vulnerable. Right. We're all right. we're all human. Yep. And we see a lot of people that will come in in the center and say, "I never thought this would happen to me. I thought this this happened to other people, not me, not people like me." Right. But people are people. Right. Yeah. You can be a millionaire one day and. Lose it all the next. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we need these programs desperately. Definitely, yep. Uh, serving people in need. What else would you like to emphasize about your program? I think there's, there's a couple other things that we're going to be doing soon. Um, one is called an individual development account. It's a match savings program. Mm. And um, family who, families who are in this program will be required to attend financial education, work with a budget coach, um, and save a certain amount of money. The program will run for 12 months. Oh. At the end of the 12 months, if they've done everything they're supposed to do, then SPIN will match the money that they've saved two times up to $1,000. So they'll identify a savings goal at the beginning of the program. So if they identify, say they want to buy a car, mm -hmm. and at the end of the program they've saved 500 they will get $1,500 to, towards the purchase of a car. So that'll be starting up pretty soon. And like I said, the workforce development about job creation and job training. So there's a lot of things that will be going on at the center that are going to really be geared to helping people become financially stable. And it doesn't, you don't have to be a millionaire or have a lot of money to be financially stable. And that's, I think, where people got confused a while ago, that they yes. needed to have these big opulent homes and be making thousands, millions of dollars in salaries. And they don't. No. And I think people are starting to understand that now. You work with what you have and, and you can make it. Amen. That's true. And I think that's wonderful to match what they save because it's very hard to save in this, it eco is. Yep. In this economy. Yep. You know, the gas prices are going up, mm -hmm. the food is high. And yet, you know, in the days of the Depression years ago, our mothers and fathers made it. They made it. Yeah, and we will too. And also, uh, years and years ago, they didn't divorce like we do today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the color of your hair, so yeah, I'm yeah. going home to mama. <laughs> uh, they stuck it out. Right. And we need uh, programs like uh, you offer. I agree. Serving people in need. Yeah. And uh, it's such a necessity to have people like you that are working to make our families uh, more stable. Right. 
because you know uh, our children I had uh, George Marcos on mm -hmm. the show mm -hmm. and he's a wonderful man that uh, has uh, given back to the community mm -hmm. and one thing he had to say and I'm sure you see it that a husband and wife may not get along, they may be separated, mm -hmm. they may be divorced, they may not even be married, but they have children. Right. Both of them are responsible. That's right. No matter their disagreements for those children. That's right. And that's what we need to encourage, that both mother and father take an interest in their children right. because our children are hurting and you wonder what goes on behind closed doors mm. to have these kids go to school and bully each other. Right. Now, something's not right. Exactly. Nope. They get that from somewhere. They do. And uh, so I think it's vital that people get on their feet and they get the help that they need to get on their feet. Right. And we have a wonderful crew of volunteers at SPIN. It's, it's, we've really been fortunate with the tax prep. They're just really great people and dedicated. And it's the same with the staff at SPIN. All the staff are extremely dedicated to serving people in need. Serving people in need is what it's all about. Yep. Take advantage if you find yourself in a position of need. There's plenty of help. Get it now. Yep, absolutely. And um, please spread the word about an overall view because yeah. uh, we do this program to build up the community. Right. To show ordinary people doing extraordinary things like yourself. Thank you. And also for a Judeo-Christian message of hope in a world that sometimes seems pretty hopeless. Right. So Good thanks for you. once again, thank Julie, you. Thank you for being on an overall view. It's wonderful having you. Thank you, Alfred Nesser, Lynn Cam TV, and PBD Access Telecommunications. And have a great and wonderful and blessed day. This is Josephine, the host of the show in overall view. Thank you. Funded by the Harmony Hill Performing Arts Foundation.